Sometimes people just simply don't have the answers for questions about our universe, mysterious events through history, or if we're truly alone in this universe. From documented cases of demonic possession to some cryptids out there that could exist. Here are most mysterious things that can't be explained. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 16, The Babushka Lady. An unknown woman was present during the 1963 assassination of John F. Kennedy, who seemingly photographed the entire event. She got her nickname from the headscarf that she was wearing in this photo, and it could have been to conceal her identity. She was photographed holding onto a camera extremely close to where Kennedy died. This left many to wonder if she was Russian or had something to do with the assassination. The FBI claimed to have never found her, and she has yet to be identified. Others believe the FBI did in fact find her, but made her say nothing about a shot coming from the grassy knoll. Who is this mysterious woman, and what did she know about this grim moment of United States history? Number 15. Native American Face Google Maps Somewhere in the mountains of Alberta, Canada, someone noticed that the mountains here seem to form perfectly a face and a headdress of a Native American man. Tribes of Indians didn't live too far from these mountains. Could they have possibly carved this face, or is it purely a coincidence? Mountains are known to form in many unique shapes, but the facial features here seem extremely accurate. There's even claims that he's wearing headphones, but that's just a hiking trail. Number 14. The Mekong Fireballs Scientists can't explain every mystery. In late October, thousands of spectators from Thailand regularly witness the Naga Fireballs. They seemingly rise from the river called Mekong. Each fireball is about the size of an egg to a basketball and shoots out into the sky. What looks like fireworks is actually a natural phenomenon. Some believe the river is filled with flammable gas and is spontaneously combusted somehow, but no one has yet to give a definitive answer about how this happens. Number 13. Baalbek You won't find this ancient structure in Rome or Greece. Try Lebanon. Some believe that it's evidence of a super civilization. In Roman times, it was known as Heliopolis or Sun City and is home to some of the largest stones ever quarried. Some are actually 1,200 tons and it remained a true enigma on how it was constructed. The oldest parts of this ruin have no known origins, despite some of the buildings at this site being Roman. It seems highly unlikely for the Romans to be able to quarry such large stones. They had neither the technology nor the resources, especially due to the fact that this site is so far from Rome. It outdates all known civilizations that inhabited the area as well. Fortunately, it has survived the centuries despite many wars in this region. But with recent conflict, it's suggested to avoid this area. Number 12. Mars's Stonehenge Alien enthusiasts have spotted quite a few bizarre images on Mars after the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter began sending images to Earth. Some think it looks like the Neolithic site similar to Stonehenge on this planet. It was dubbed Marshenge by the UFO enthusiasts, but astronomers are fairly certain it's just a rock formation. But if you take a closer look, the stones seem to have square and circular formations that are somewhat similar to the Stonehenge we see on Earth. Number 11. Parallel Universes it seems quite reasonable that somewhere in our universe, there's another galaxy extremely similar to ours, down to the point where there's even a solar system just like ours. With new theories emerging that our universe is infinite, there has to be at least one copy of the solar system, Earth, etc., right? The solar system is so similar to the parallel world that even the world history is quite similar to ours. Just like our solar system being recreated, so are the DNA molecules throughout the universe. This is one mystery scientists are certainly hoping to solve soon. Number 10. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang This is a discovery waiting to be happened, but the Chinese will not dare enter the tomb. The Chinese government claims that what's inside the tomb is best just left a mystery. There have been various reasons why they don't want to go in there either. First, they believe that exposing the room to oxygen once again could cause any of the paintings in the tomb to lose all of their coloring. This is similar to what happened to every one of the 6,000 terracotta soldiers. But it's not just the artwork they're concerned with. Not only is there believed to be a horrific curse, but some believe there is an ancient moat made of liquid mercury that will actually poison anyone who dares to enter. But is it worth knowing the risk? Who knows, possibly the Chinese government went in there anyways. Number 9. Spirit Leaving the Body In this photo, you see a woman lying on a bed in a hospital in China with a sheet covering her face, left to enter the afterlife. A spirit-like figure seems to come straight out of her body before flying out the door. When the crew of the nurses came in to check on her, it was already too late. We've mentioned before how nurses tend to spot demonic possessions quite often. 
could this be proof of what happens to us after we pass away? Or was this a demon leaving the body? Number 8. Julia This is one of our more recent cases of possession among us. Dr. Richard E. Gallagher is a psychiatry professor at New York Medical College and he was simply baffled by this finding. This is one of the few rare cases where demonic possession was actually diagnosed by a medical professional. And you thought your kids misbehaved. Try having a doctor tell you that your kid is actually possessed by demons. The tone of her voice was sporadically changed from sounding like a man to a woman. She also baffled many by speaking languages that she had no previous knowledge of. You might not want to be in the room with this girl if you're hiding a secret either. She also tended to reveal much information that she could have possibly never known about. To this day, she still shows signs of demonic possession. Number 7. The Yeti We don't always know what could be out there lurking in uninhabited high altitudes. The word Yeti is a Tibetan name for the abominable snowman, and basically, they have a myth about Bigfoot as well. This is basically like Bigfoot in the snow, and he looks like one mean dude. Legends of the Yeti in Northern America describe its fur as being so thick with ice that no arrow could possibly shoot through it, making it essentially invincible. The Yeti could be high up in the Himalayas and live at an elevation that no man dares to enter. It's always hard for people to explain the massive footprints that are left in the snow. It's strange how completely different isolated cultures can hold on to similar myths. Number 6. South Carolina Lizard Man This species of alien has came to Earth, secretly controlled the human race, and are about 7 to 9 feet tall. They have the ability to shapeshift and have taken the forms as our world leaders, like presidents, kings, queens, and work at financial banks. But could someone have possibly spotted a reptilian in their natural form? Or is this just a well-executed hoax? This is certainly no hoax, according to the sheriff of Lee County, South Carolina. People originally thought it was a bear, but it only had three fingers and a very long tail. Over a dozen people in this rural county have made testimonies which all matched. Number 5. The Flatwoods Monster A seemingly close encounter with some type of extraterrestrial being took place in Western Virginia in 1952 by two young men. Wikipedia gives a good description of what allegedly happened, which turns out to be pretty creepy. Imagine encountering some type of horrific monster that crashed from a UFO, then being sick with a mysterious illness not long after. Some believe that it could have been some type of virus that was from outer space, while others believe it was some type of fuel used to power the spacecraft that crashed. The whole event was well documented by newspapers. The boys both described the monster as being about 7 to 10 feet tall with shrilling red eyes and long skinny arms and fingers. Almost seems too strange to not be real. There wasn't only one reported sighting like this in West Virginia either. Number 4. Mothman Mothman is a mythical creature, some type of evil wing humanoid bat-like beast. Most people report seeing him while driving and he's known to fly onto people's cars. Eyewitnesses report seeing a gargoyle-like animal that's 7 to 8 feet tall with a wingspan of over 10 feet. In the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, you'll come across a statue in his honor. If you were able to capture the Mothman on your dash cam, this is probably what it would look like. Number 3. The Young Teaser this was an American schooner that sunk due to an explosion in 1813 near Nova Scotia, Canada during the War of 1812 near Mahoney Bay. The sightings also seem to happen very often on the day when it exploded, June 27th. This was reportedly witnessed by a lot of people. When it vanished, it apparently disappears behind a cloud or flames. Some claim this can be an optical illusion due to a full moon, but there are still sightings by boats in there. It's now a well-known urban legend in Nova Scotia. Number 2. Fast Radio Bursts With the increase in space technology, it seems like we're getting closer and closer to making contact. A mysterious phenomenon noticed by scientists in 2007 which only lasted a few milliseconds, but it emitted an immense amount of energy. The astrophysics department at Cornell University has even discussed it as a serious possibility of extraterrestrial civilization. In just milliseconds, fast radio bursts emit more energy than the entire sun during a 24-hour period. No one can seem to truly understand the real origins behind these bursts. And number 1. The Shroud of Turin Is it possible this shroud of cloth was the actual burial cloth of Jesus Christ? Or was the entire thing a massive hoax conducted by the Catholic Church? The shroud would definitely help the church's cause for non-believers. Many do firmly believe that this is the true image of their Lord and is currently being held in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy. Popes have described it as an icon, the holy face of Jesus, and the mirror of the gospel. Some serious words from some important guys. However, carbon dating hasn't really backed up too much. A Swiss institute concluded with 95% confidence that the shroud dates back to 1260 AD. The red stain did contain iron oxide, which is found in blood. But it could still be anyone's blood. The shroud is mainly a relic of faith nonetheless. 